Oh, what is going on guys, it's Ross Fox here today, back with a brand new FC25 a Schalke career mode episode for you guys today, and in today's episode, this is how things will be looking, we shall be going away to Griffith Firth, we shall be then hosting Dusseldorf at the Veltins, and then we shall go away to Köln, Köln at the of the last game of the episode going into things hopefully in this episode we can continue the positive run we've had we've definitely improved from the first episode i'm <clears throat> sorry just excuse me my voice is still not great but yeah hopefully moving on we can well we're definitely improved from the first episode and the way things are sitting in third after five Match well after five games, we have lost, but you know, we're sitting on 10 points, still a pretty open league table so far. So, hopefully, we can get some more positive points on the board and keep improving. Like I said, obviously, we did get beat in the DFB Pokal first round, which was a little bit embarrassing, but. It is what it is. We have to focus on the league now and get this automatic promotion. The team is looking very good. Like I said, I did touch upon things, how things went. I'm quite happy with the squad, with the improvements we've made, and we just hope to keep on building. So, yes, let's get straight into the episode and play the games. I hope you all enjoy. We have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments away from kickoff time. It was a pleasure to be here in Fürth at the Sportpark Hornhof Thomas Sommer. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham, and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And coming up for you, action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Reuter Fürth up against Schalke. Thanks, Derek. Well, this should be a decent game today. Both managers will have a game plan. Both teams have a certain style of play, and both sides will want to start quickly. I'm looking forward to this. So let's have a look at the table and the chances there for the visitors to go top if they can win. Well, they've certainly had a great start to the season and they've played some really good football. Hopefully we get more of the same today. Scoreline tells us what a comfortable win it was. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. He doesn't he? Branimir Hergota. Well, not a bad plan of action, but through to the goalkeeper it goes. Kanan Karaman. Origi, real chance, it's gone in, well they're really in the mood here, can they be stopped? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, sadly, too straight to what? A deft clearance. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. He must finish! And there it is! An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Could be! Well, he has the scent of a hat. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent full of energy and pace and the midfield completely dominated the game it was a great all-round performance no two ways about it he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings 
Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. Hello everyone, this is the city where football passion truly rules the roost. We're in Gelsenkirchen at the Arena auf Schalke. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Schalke and they take on Fortuna Düsseldorf. Well, both teams know they need to start the game well here. Try to dominate the midfield area and get their creative players on the ball. This should be an interesting game, I think. You never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, a great last time out, but no real surprise that we're focusing on him. It's his movement for me, always active, always trying to find that yard of space, and I expect we'll see the same again today. avoided a booking but the complaints continue and I can understand why I think it's a poor foul it should be a yellow card for me goal taking aim from the spot has gone the wrong way and it makes it a fairly easy finish in the end that's how to take happy to take on the shot but it wasn't a and collected tidily well Goalkeeping there. Let's see about the cross. Oh, great block. And the penalty has been given here. To make it 2 0. In it goes. Carly converted. That's a good pass. Really important tackle. Oh, nice ball. Chance to reduce the arena. Keeper to stop it. Brilliant save from that sort of range. He had no right to stop that. No real chance. Up for grabs off the keeper. Yunis. Origi. And lining it up. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was it. time for them to level matters it would and there it is the final whistle not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today defeat for them well Derek certainly not their best performance was it just a little bit off the pace to me and obviously a disappointing result but the key thing is Vielen Dank für Ihre Geduld Sie dürfen Ihre Fragen nun stellen The atmosphere is building. This one is always a classic, but what drama will we have for you today? All the action coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Hopefully the game will be quite the opposite. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined by Sue Smith in the commentary position. And we've got a game from the Bundesliga Spy on the way. It's FC Cologne, and they take on Schalke. Well, thanks, Guy. I can't wait for this one today. The atmosphere is buzzing, and I'm hoping the football lives up to it. Defensive 
work to do here. And they're not going... Eunice. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. Promising position, this. That's nice and easy. a conclusion of the episode not bad not great a win loss and a draw so a fairly steady fairly steady progression again a couple of tough games though Kurt Cohn and Dusseldorf but starting off with that great for first match I mean they sit in 13th as we beat them a 3-0 very convincingly nine shots to their two a Divock Arigi getting two goals which is again very nice showing us why we have signed him and he's you know he's a goal scorer giving an opportunity and yeah again did really well then Lewis Holtby got his first goal back since being at the club so a bit of a lucky one really that was just he had a chance keeper fluffed it and then Holtby knocked it in so it was a steady 3-0 win and then Dusseldorf, as you can see, just down there in sixth place, just below us, did get a, a very fortunate win over us. In a game that we dominated from start to finish, we had nine shots, three on target, and still managed to lose 2-1. I mean, again, this is one thing that's frustrating me a little bit playing this game, is the amount of fouls, niggly fouls that the referee's giving to the opposition. And it's just like, it's very frustrating. We lost the two penalties. It's not the first time it's happened this season. And we've received a lot more penalties. First one, Newman went for a tackle. Clearly bigger and stronger. Went for a tackle, mistimed it, and took the player out. Penalty, fairly understandable. And the second one was, well, we've got handballs on in the menu, in the options. So origi has gone to check or just gone to defend the ball and he's put his arms up in the air and they've had a very lucky bounce as it's come off his arm and that was the second penalty it's a 2-0 no down we're dominating we're struggling to score we're getting through we're not putting miles we didn't take it the chances and yeah that was that i mean then coleman got a florian coleman got a very late consolation goal and now he's up injured for four weeks, which is not good and then against away to cone five shots each and a nil nil draw so at the time, Colm were top of the league, but Hanover have now overtaken them. So yeah, I mean, I'll take it as a point, but this is obviously on the back of that disappointed defeat. We'll take it. But I mean, again, still very early in the season. Still, I mean, five points off top, four points off second, and one point off third. So it's still very, very open. So we have nothing to worry about. Um, we just, again, we're still bedding into the season I think we might have to adjust the game plan a little bit as some players are not fit some players are and it's all over the place some players are recovering some players are not I mean why is the match sharpness so low I mean the players have been playing we're just rotating the team and again like you know why is the fitness so low if they haven't played five days why is it why is it so low it, it's gonna have to i think they've changed things a little bit on this game so we're gonna have to just work it out as we go along but yeah i mean a win a loss and a draw to see the episode through isn't terrible at all and i mean what we've got in the next episode we should have a quick look at that um 
Maj- Majdaberg, College Slauten and Paderborn to go into the month of October. So thanks for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed hope you all enjoying the series of three sep- three episodes in. It's gonna be a still gonna be a tough season, but we're still hoping to get promotion as that is the main aim. So thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.